What's up guys, Ben Allen back again with another video and in today's video the topic is EIB and for those of you that don't know what that is, that stands for Expert Infantry Badge, right? Yeah. Alright, yep. but uh, yeah, I got Dax Bishop and Jonathan Hullett here, both uh, PFC specialists? PFC. PFCs, right? And to get your EIB as a PFC is pretty fucking cool, you know, because as a private they are literally an expert in their job. And we're just gonna be talking about just some of the things that they had to go through in order to earn that badge. Without further ado, let's get to it. But uh, yeah guys, so straight off the bat, I just got a couple questions that I wanna ask you guys. And uh, I got them in my notes right here. So pretty much just for the viewers, what <clears throat> is EIB? Well, uh, like you said, it is the Army's expert instrument badge. It consists of, you got a PT test, yeah. other than a regular PT test, you run four miles instead of just a regular two. And that same day, you have day and night land dev, where you got to find three out of four points. And then you got three, uh, the next three days are, so you have a weapons day, you have a medical day, and you have a patrol day, which consists of ten different tasks each day. Then if you make it past all that, you have a 12 mile rope. If you make that, you get your EIB. Dude, that's pretty. Yeah. So that's pretty EIB true. in a nutshell, right? And that hits it on the head, right? So overall, like how long was it, like the entire process, like from the train up to the actual testing and all that stuff? You want to answer this? So one? for us, I was, uh, we had like two weeks of train up. Mm -hmm. So two weeks, you get on the lanes, you go through the lanes, practice up, you get ready. And then the last week, uh, was t all testing. So we started with PT test land nav, then went through the mm -hmm. all the other lanes, and the last day was 12 mile ruck. Okay, so about three weeks total for you guys, two yeah, weeks to train weeks. up, one week of actual doing EIB? Yep. Alright, sweet. Uh, so, what advice do you have for someone who's about to go through it? Like, what should they do to train? Like, how should their mindset be? What should they be doing in order to prepare to earn their expert infantry badge? Uh, basically, the train up and just go into it with an open mind. It's kind of sucked because oh, yeah. it, it was really brutal. So, and just go into it with an open mind. Even if you don't get your EIB, it's really good training. You should know anyway as a basic infantry guy. Yeah. What about you? So, for me, what really helped me a lot is uh, just study. Like if you just study every night, because mm -hmm. I, I would, I didn't know, it's like some of the lanes, I didn't know it at all. Went back, looked at my book and just read it over it all night. And then the next day I went and tested and I was like, dang, this is way easier than I thought. Sweet. And do they give you guys like a book? To yeah, so we did an uh, EIB handbook mm -hmm. and it has like all the lanes, steps, okay. sequences. Just like everything, pretty much that book is like the yep. Bible pretty much. You just read yeah. that, just go through it and that's like your bread and butter. Yeah. Alright, cool. So there you go guys, you guys gotta, you gotta be studying. Uh, so, for both of you all, what was the hardest part about it? Like, what lane, you know, what event, you know, what uh, what thing? You know, both physically and mentally. Uh, land nav was definitely pretty rough for me, because mm -hmm. after that PT test and running four miles, you go straight into land nav and hiking up hills that are straight up. It was pretty rough. Same thing for you, land nav as I well? I think for me, uh, probably be uh, weapons lanes, waiting in line. Yeah. It was just draining, so you go train up and then you wait in line for two hours, so you kind of forget. <laughs> yeah. And then you're like, shit, am I doing yeah. this right? Or two or three hundred people trying to go, yeah, yeah. trying to get your <laughs> test in there. <laughs> All right, cool. So land nav and weapons. So pay extra attention to those guys. So uh, I'll make this the last question, unless you guys can think of anything else you want to add after this. But uh, what does it mean to y'all to have earned your EIB as a PFC? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like obviously bragging rights are a oh, thing, yeah. right? Especially as a PFC, because I know there's some NCOs that went through as well, and out of like y'all's company, there's only like what seven, eight of y'all that that actually six. got the badge. Six, yep. six out of a company of like a hundred people, guys, and only six of them, them being two of the six, earned their badge. You know, PFCs, like that's phenomenal. But uh, yeah, so what does it mean to y'all to have earned your badge? Uh, that definitely means a lot, you know, and you're the expert of your craft. And there's a, you look at up the ranks, there's people all the way up to E6 and E7 that still haven't earned theirs, which yeah. just shows how tough of a task it actually is. So I just, it's pretty good. So, I think uh, it feels pretty good walking on work. Yeah. And you have B on my chest. Oh, you know, <laughs> I see E5s and E6s with nothing on the chest. So. But it's uh, it means a lot to me. It was uh, really worked hard for it. Some I usually don't do, so 
put my uh, put my all in it. Worked out good, so it felt pretty nice. Well, that's good, man. I'm, I'm, I mean, I saw you guys doing the rug. I was pulling med coverage while they were doing that shit, and they look they look motivated and tired at the same uh, time. But because it's, it's a grueling process, right? Like, I bet the sleep is very minimal. Like you can be yeah. tired. Way to wake up at two. Like early morning, especially for the PT test, right? You gotta be up at two and all that stuff. Yeah, way to wake up at two for the rug too. Yeah, I was God, I'd be up to whack. But uh, yeah, so is there anything else you guys uh, think of adding? Like anything else at all you think uh, these guys should know about earning their badge? Uh, I think we hit it all. It's a very prestigious award and it's pretty yeah. cool to actually have that at such a young point in our careers. Nice. Don't lose motivation. Yeah. Like, that's what kills everybody is to lose motivation and they stop here. <clears throat> yeah, I, I definitely saw that. Like, I saw dudes that didn't even want to go that were just kind of there because they were told to. Yeah. You know, especially during the PT test when I was doing med coverage for that, like I saw a lot of people just do like 11 push-ups and just mm -hmm. get out. Yeah. Because, yeah. If you yeah. put it in the time, just like everything else, you'll get the results. Okay, sweet. Well, thank you all for coming on the channel. This is a short little video, guys. Just wanted to show you all uh, just pretty much what EIB is about from two actual EIB holders. Um, and just show you that if you stay determined and things like that, if you're about to go through it or have gone through it and failed and they're thinking of going again, you know, you guys can apply the information that they gave you and uh, hopefully come out with your EIB as well. But uh, I just want to thank uh, Bishop for coming on the channel. I want to thank Hullet for coming on the channel and just, uh, you know, telling y'all what it's about. So congratulations, guys, on earning your badge. It's a huge deal. Uh, very proud of y'all. And uh, yeah, guys, uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, if you guys want to hit me up on Instagram, it's the best possible way to reach me. It's at Ben underscore Allen 175. If you guys want to plug your Instagrams, feel free to do so. I uh, follow my brand, Fat Ranger. We got Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, all that. All right, there you go. Hold it. Oh, I'm good. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, guys, uh, thank you for tuning into this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Later.